I look back at the successes I've had in life, how I have achieved them, what was the, you know, what, what made those things happen? And at the end of the day, it was not motivation. It was a process. It was a formula. Every year I go to a conference called the Social Media Marketing Conference in San Diego with my dad, Carrie Gregmeyer from Best of US Investors. And we sat through one of a, a presentation who uh, this guy talked about storytelling and the formula for successful storytelling. If this happens, then this happens, therefore this happens, formula. Think about Star Wars. There's a hero, there's a villain, and there's a guide. Simple formula. Recently, my wife and I have talked about how tired we are. At the end of the day, we're just so tired. What's the answer? There's no motivation involved in being tired or getting out of being tired. No, it's a formula. It's a simple process. I need six and a half to seven and a half hours of sleep every day. I wake up at least by 6.30 every day. So what do I need to do? Subtract seven and a half hours or seven and a half hours from 6.30 in the morning all the way back. And that's when I need to go to bed. For the last two days, I've woken up at 5.30. Why? Because I'm going to bed at 10. I'm all of a sudden energized. I've got energy. I'm excited. I'm more productive. I'm not tired at the end of the day. I'm not whining about how tired I am. So I turned 51 in July. And maybe this is where motivation comes into play. I was near somebody. Coronavirus is, of course, taking over the world. People are dying. And a lot of the cases of people dying are people who have previous um, issue, health issues. And I started thinking about it. At 51, I would like to go at least another 49 years of life. What is the process of achieving that 49 years of good life? Exciting living, you know, living loud. And I realized was, I gotta get up every morning, get out of bed, start the coffee maker. Leave the house, go to the gym and work out a part of my body each day. Come home, drink a cup of coffee, and go to work. And go do the thing I'm really excited about doing. And what I realized was, there are mornings where I'm not gonna be motivated. I'm not gonna be excited about doing it. But rather, if I just stick to the process, one day working out my arms, next day working out my chest and shoulders. Do it again. Do it again for a year. And what will, what will the results be? I'll have results, hopefully good ones, but it's a process. It's not a motivation. It's not that. It's more of a process because there are days where you're not gonna wanna get out of bed. There are days where you're not gonna fight that fight. But if you have a process of doing it, well, you're gonna get results. It's the same way with creating wealth. There's no magic formula. There's just a process. You know, I'm not really one who like gets up and goes, I really wanna to go to the gym. I wanna work out. I wanna be stronger. <clears throat> it's not me. But I've realized that if I don't, when I get older and get into retirement age, I may not be well off. I may break down spend most of my times in the waiting room of a doctor's office. I've been a financial advisor for over 20 years now. And it's common. It's the most predictable thing we could do in retirement. 
Oh, I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna play a lot of golf. Uh, go travel. You know what they don't say? They never say I'm gonna do three days of cardio every week. They never say I'm gonna do two days of strength training every week. I hate it, but I'm gonna do it because I need to. I believe motivation is, well, it's completely overrated. We preach about motivation. What's motivating you to achieve your goals? What about the people you wanna prove wrong? To be successful, you don't have to have a bad childhood. You don't have to be a miserable SOB. You just need a process. A long time ago, US car manufacturing was a complete cluster, right? Cars broke down. If you got over 50,000 miles in an American-made car, you were to get rid of it. Today, that's all changed. And the reason is, is because the Japanese taught a process, a system to building long-lasting, reliable cars. Jerry, we're gonna be successful because we have emotion and feeling and passion. We're gonna be great. Our company is going to be exceptionally dominant because of our emotions and our motivation. No, that pro feeling and pro passion, well, that's, that's trash. See, I think I figured it out. It's not an emotional thing. It's not a, I was a terrible student in high in, in school. It's not a, oh wow, to prove somebody wrong or I'm gonna change the world. No, that's fleeting. What is long lasting? One buzz, one equals two. Who has proven that wrong? When has that ever been wrong? The point is, is Motivation's fleeting. It will pass.